Hey there, it's Pajal. If you're new here, welcome. Today I have a huge pre-fall thrift haul to share with you guys. I grabbed a whole bunch of cute pieces for fall this year, which I'm so stoked about. But the best part is that I got them all under $5. The cheapest thing that I picked up was $0.48. Cents. So, um, I have quite a lot of things to get through, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna warn you guys, I picked up a lot of tops. Um, I only got one bottom, but the time I went, um, my thrift store that I was going to, they were having like a kind of promotion going on for the month of August. Every Sunday, everything in store is half off. So, um, of course, I had to jump at that um, chance to add some more stuff for my fall wardrobe. So, um, let's start with the first top. It's this brownie color, a bit of a red hint in there, but it's a really beautiful blouse. It is from Target's brand Massimo. Um, but I really love the ruffles that goes down one side and all the way down the center. I just love ruffles for... I just love ruffles no matter if they're in trend or not. But I love this color. I think it's such a beautiful uh, warm tone color for fall. Especially we're going with earthy tones and um, all things fall-like. Next up, I have this uh, really baby doll pink. It's like a very blush, muted blush pink. But I think it's very romantic-like and very soft, subtle. Kind of makes your whole um, look very soft and girly, but also very feminine. I think this top is very beautiful. It has a lot of texture on it. Um, there is some kind of like pleated going on or these lace detail running along the shirt. The sleeve has such a uh, the sleeve has such a beautiful flute or trumpet cut to it so I think it's just a very lovely top. I usually like to tuck all my tops and blouse into my bottoms uh, especially if they're high-waisted or I also like to tie them to a knot at the waist. Okay so the next top I have is this very sheer kind of chiffon like material. It has a lot of ruffles going on again I'm telling you I am a ruffle junkie. I just love ruffles all year long. Um, but this one, it, like I said, it's very flowy and sheer. So it's a lot better suited for, you know, transitioning into fall. But I think it's a very beautiful color as well. It's in this ivy green moss color. And um, I just think it's a really nice top to layer or just wear it by itself you know it is kind of see-through so maybe a tank or a bandeau would do um, but yeah love this top the color is super uh, appropriate for fall as well I did do my uh, homework and some research for the colors from Pantone so um, I was kind of going in eyeing some of these colors that would be very suitable for fall okay on to the next top I have just a very satin like shirt i love love how classy and very minimal this shirt is i think it's just such a beautiful top that really gives the impression of you know you're wearing something that's a lot pricier than it is and it's in this beautiful cream color which i love i think neutrals are really um, sophisticated in a way and which this top I just think it's all that in one go it does have some shoulder pad which I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep or not um, it does really kind of emphasize my shoulders but I feel that if I take the shoulder pad off it won't look as structured as it is with the shoulder pads on but um, yeah I love this one I think it's such a really nice super soft and flowy top this next top I have is just a very basic long sleeve almond nude like color this almond tone color is definitely a color for this fall as well i just think that basic is so chic in a way if you know how to style your pieces together and i haven't worn a basic shirt like this since forever uh, which i thought i think it's really nice the neckline is just kind of like a long um it's not a boat neck neckline but more of like a curved um, but yeah <laughs> I think it's very nice and also um, you don't really have to put much effort when it comes to basic all you have to do is just put on some really fancy earrings or something that's more statement like because you're wearing very basic so that wraps up for all tops or blouse like I did pick up some sweaters it can't be fall without any sweaters so um, this first one I have is just a gray uh, speckled I 
totally forgot the term to describe these kind of sweater, but it's ribbed and it's just a really basic, again, uh, turtleneck sweater. I love these. I practically live in these all fall and winter, so I feel like this is definitely a must-have essential. But yes, I don't own any gray ones. I believe I was uh, doing some um, closet cleaning, uh, and so I kind of toss off the old ones that I've worn quite a while now so this is definitely something that I need and I feel like again with turtleneck they're super easy to style with any kind of bottoms I feel like if you switch it with some trouser it looks very um, sophisticated and very put together classy but if you switch it up with some denim it's automatically chic and throw on blazer and you got yourself a really chic street style kind of outfit on to the next sweater I have this again almost beige like almond color they're in the same color scheme and palette and i just i'm just really drawn towards these uh, warm and nude shades of color i think it's very fall like it definitely really embodies the image of fall for me when it comes to colors i feel like these colors are you know an all-time necessity especially for every fall of like camel and browns i just love those tones for fall but this one, again, is a much more um, cozier, it's softer, and it does have some rib details going on. But it's more of a mock neck kind of style, um, but I, it fits really nicely, and I just had to grab this color because I don't own any, surprisingly, by how much I like these kind of colors. So um, I just love this softer shade which I'm starting to become obsessed with. The next sweater I have is just a very typical red sweater with these patterns that you see all the time. And um, I just had this vision of how I wanted to style this sweater, hence the reason why I got such a, you know, very typical and plain looking sweater. But I felt like I could do something with it. When I saw it, I was like, Maybe I could work this, I could just see myself um, tucking that into my jean, throwing on a beret and some sock ankle boots and you got a very Parisian outfit. Something about red just really screams Parisian to me. Um, but yeah, I just, I just had that thought and I figured why not because I don't have anything like that and it's also a v-neck cut sweater instead this time so I feel like that gives me a little bit of variety and choices to choose from and then this next top is something definitely not any regular person will wear out every single day as a daily basis but I just thought this top was the cutest and quirkiest um, sweater ever <laughs> when I saw this I had the idea of wearing this out for like maybe a holiday party or like office party that it's not super dressy or fancy or formal and I just think it's so cute with the you know it gives a bit off of skin exposure so you're not super dressy but you're not super casual and I thought you know pairing this with a black well-fitted slack and maybe some um, barely there sandal heels I think it's such a very chic yet um, put together outfit for like a more holiday purpose <laughs> so i definitely have that image and thought in my hence the reason why i got this sweater but i think it's so cute and it has a at the back it's more of a bean cut so i feel like you can definitely switch it around and wear it that way or wear it covered and exposing the back i think that's also a very nice look to go with but yeah it's such a really i think it's so cute and definitely not everyone's cup of tea but i just think that I could work with it. This next sweater I have is a sleeveless sweater. It's more of a thinner, it's more on the thinner side, so it's definitely perfect for transitioning into a fall right now. You can wear it at it, you can wear it as it is or um, layer underneath something because it's sleeveless and it does give a bit of a V-cut neckline so you can layer a turtleneck underneath or even a button-up collar shirt. I feel like it's definitely a nice top to layer underneath with. I love the different texture on both sides. It just runs along with the ruffles and then has a bit of a rib detail on the other side with some um, little polka dot hose on the other side. It's very interesting hence the reason why I got it. The color is in this very light light shade of peachy pink almost. So I think it's a very lovely top and something again I don't own as of yet 
so um, I decided to pick this top up as well. All right, and then I have an outerwear to show you guys. It is this green plaid trench coat. It's still brand new. It has all the price tags on there, and I was really excited. I know it's not something I can wear right now, but I feel like I needed to get it just to prep for the colder season. Um, but it was originally $36, but I was so glad I found it for only $10. And then, like I said, it was half off, so I paid about $5 for it. But I just think it's such a nice piece. And also, plaid is a must-have trend for this season because you're going to be seeing it everywhere and I'm already starting to see a lot of um, trendy pieces in stores right now so I was really excited to grab this piece for half the price, almost more than half the price off um, but I love it and it's in this fleece material, it's definitely really cozy and because of the material it's not super formal where it's a little bit awkward to be wearing it out and about so I just think it's a really nice um, coat trench coat <laughs> to have. Anyway, those are all for tops and then like I mentioned at the beginning, I only have one pair of bottoms to show with you guys and it is just a very basic uh, trouser. It's wide leg and it's in this shade of khaki green, military green color um, and I just love wide legs in general. I love to wear them because I feel like it would look really nice pair with some sock pinko boots. Um, and I think it's gonna make for a really nice fall look um, when styled but those are it for clothing and I was a little bit crazy and oh I forgot I have a pair of shoes to show as well I did do a video just focusing on shoes and bags that I've thrifted so if you haven't seen that one definitely you should check that one out I got a bunch of trendy summer pieces and shoes there but this last pair of shoes I got was way after I did that uh, video, um, which is this crocked inspired pair of shoes. I don't know exactly what kind of style this is, but it is a bit open here and it just looks like this. I just think it's so nice um, and it's super comfy as well. It's from the brand Calico um, and this was $7.95, but again, half off of $7.95. This was about $3.50, $3.50. And that is pretty much the end of this haul. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for sticking around if you made it this far. I know it is quite long um, because I have so many things to share with you guys. But I hope you enjoy. And if you want to see more videos like these, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel. I do have a lot of these kind of hauls already on my channel. If you haven't seen those, make sure to go and check it out. But also, one last thing, if you haven't followed me on my Instagram, definitely go and follow me there to see me style these pieces. If you prefer to look at photos and all the good stuff. But that's pretty much it. Again, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!